Brussels. I have never been to Brussels before. This is my first time and we are on a mission. We're gonna take that train right there, right there behind us, hopefully it has Wi-Fi. And uh, it's so funny how people like to watch me while I'm filming. Say hello. Yeah, they really like to watch me there. I don't know, maybe it's the hair. Anyway, we're heading to Brussels and uh, we'll be there in about an hour and 22 minutes. We'll see you there. Well, we've arrived in Brussels, and one thing that I don't like about Europe is you have to pay to pee, as it were. You have to secure one of these, one of these coins, which cost an arm and a leg, in order that you might enter into one of these very secure toilets. And so Prava Vanessa, well, she's been in there for a while, but I'm hoping she'll come out soon, because I'm on luggage watch. But uh, anyway, this is our welcome to Brussels. <laughs> Here we are. All right, well, we are out looking for some food because this one is hungry. I said this oh. one is hungry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it is always her. I'm hungry too, though, so let's find some food. Too much sugar for me, but gonna find another coffee place. It is bright. Good thing I have my shades. They're doing a lot of construction here. And sometimes your life feels like a construction zone. You know you do in those cases? You rebuild or you build. Whatever it is that's going on, you go with the flow. Can you see I'm trying to prophesy to these people? Anyway, so as I was saying, when your life seems under a construction zone, don't stop building, don't stop trying, don't stop pressing, because God's gonna make something great out of it. Well, no trip to any nation would be complete without allowing Prophet Vanessa to explore a market. A market. So I don't know about this one. Not quite a Whole Foods. But she seems to be enjoying herself. She was thirsty. I am thirsty and dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have Belgian waffles and Brussels sprouts. No, just Belgian waffles. And uh, I, I've had Belgian waffles, but these are legit. The kinds I had before, they weren't authentic because we weren't in Belgium. So, you ready? Okay, so this is what's called a charcoal latte, which means got charcoal in it. Got charcoal in it. Why would I drink that? Why not? Commission, we're gonna go closer. This is the legislative body for the European Union, and you know, we're here on assignment with a governmental word to pray. So we're gonna pray, we're gonna decree, we're gonna prayer walk, and uh, I'll tell you more when we get over there. Yeah. 
European Commission building is just behind me. We can't actually get down there. But this morning, while we were having breakfast, the Holy Spirit said to me, betrayal in Brussels. And so we really need to pray, and that's why we're here, is to pray. We know there's a lot of wrangling going on over Brexit. We know this is a critical time in the history of the United Kingdom and other European nations as well that are struggling. And so we are here to see the will of the Lord done. It's a prophetic act. There's something about putting your feet on the ground. So I urge all of you, in whatever country that you are in, in the European Union, in the UK, to go ahead and pray for God's will. You know why? Because God's will is the best way. The Bible says His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So we really do want God's will. If you're a Christian, lay aside your political uh, wrangling, lay aside your political opinions, and just pray for the will of the Lord. We're going to uh, decree, we're going to declare, we're going to do some prayer walk and we're going to believe that this will in some way help the larger picture to see God's kingdom come, God's will be done. It's no accident that we're here in Brussels and the Lord speaks. The Bible says that God doesn't do anything unless he reveals it to his servants, the prophets. So we're going to pray that the betrayal is, uh, is, is banished, that the betrayal cannot manifest. We're going to push it back in the spirit. We know that everything happens or starts in the spirit realm before it happens in the natural realm, so we're going to break the spirit of betrayal, and this is how you pray. You break the spirit of betrayal, you pray for the Lord's will to be done, you pray for wisdom and guidance and counsel for all those who are making decisions in this building behind me and back home in the UK. God bless you. We're going for it. Commission is behind us where we'll go in a moment the British Embassy is right here and when I was just in London I had a prophetic word essentially the Lord said pray for the Queen that she would have boldness and you'll see a clip of that prophecy but the Queen the Lord said one more bold move that she's gonna have to make a bold move so I want you to pray I want you to pray for the Queen that she will hear from the Lord and do anything that he would have her to do we want just her to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, to hear His voice, to be surrounded by wise counselors so that she can hear the will of the Lord and then give her boldness to do the will of the Lord. The Lord said, one more bold move. So that's our prayer for the Queen. And you'll see the prophecy, you'll see the cut in, you'll see some of the prayers for the Queen that we did back at Awakening House of Prayer in Croydon. Let God's, be, let God's will be done and God save the Queen. We're gonna get a little to-go organic food for the long train ride because we're heading to Berlin, School of the Prophets. We've got one more prophetic act to do and then we'll be on our way home. It's just been a great, great trip, a great break. And we're just trying to make sure we don't get lost. This way? Yeah, there. All right, bye.